Hey guys, uh, I just come in from a pretty long day of mowing. I know I've been MIA, missing in action with you. I think it's been about three weeks since I've uploaded a video. The last video I uploaded was us going on vacation and me driving the TRD Pro uh, down to Florida and, and then of course coming back. And I didn't video the coming back. I'm sitting here and uh, I'm editing the movie right now from our vacation and I'm gonna walk you a little bit through just some little bit of points of our vacation and some highlights of what we enjoyed and having a good time and I'll take you through that but since I've come back from vacation it has been just crazy and the next video I upload uh, might be that one we'll see but the next video or two will be I'm gonna take you through step by step go around to some of the rental houses and just tell you kind of what's going on. Um, I've just had a bunch going on with them. But anyway, I'm going to walk you a little bit through our video. In the past, for about the last six years, we've stayed at a Madeira Beach um, down in St. Pete's at uh, John's Pass, and we've always rented a condo there. This year, we went further down, and we went to Inglewood, Florida, and we rented a house that was a private house. And so we kind of really had our own private beach. Now there's things that we liked about that and there's things that we missed about John's Pass. The things we missed about John's Pass was you walk across the street and all your restaurants are there shopping. Uh, didn't have to get into your vehicle. The things we didn't miss about John's Pass that we really liked about staying at Inglewood and renting a house was we had a private beach section and you know like in the past we've stayed at condos and a lot of times you'll be two or three rows deep of people and we always rent the chairs with the umbrella and it always aggravates me but somebody will come and put a tent up right in front of us and we've had people put up tents five foot in front of us and then you sit there and look at them all day and so I got tired of that, and I told Christy last year, I said, I'm not doing this anymore. We're going to find something different that's um, where we don't have to worry about the people putting their tents and stuff right in front of us like that and, you know, blocking the view of the ocean, and then you've got to just look at them all day, and you got to listen to the music they're listening to, and so on. So we really enjoyed this. So I'm going to go show you some highlights, and here's the place where we stayed, and I'll give you a little little look at that right now. We're just literally just a few steps from the ocean. We love the private beach and being that close. I have never um, snorkeled. I tried it a couple times and I never did like it. But I bought me one of those uh, 180 masks and I spent hours just passing time snorkeling, looking at fish, uh, looking at crabs. I really had a good time with it. It made me want to go like uh, down to the Keys or somewhere where they have really good reefs and do some snorkeling. but. Um, Man, I really like this mask. If you get the opportunity to try this, um, I recommend it. Needless to say, I didn't score any um, real good brownie points with Ryder on this. I was trying to get her comfortable on the raft and a wave comes in and flips them and she kind of held that against me for a little while. Um, it, it's funny now, but it wasn't funny at the time. But here it goes. I 
I was editing this video earlier and Ryder heard that and she come running in here and she said, Paul, I didn't like that that you did that to me. So she hadn't forgot it. It was, uh, I guess it was kind of traumatizing to her. Lee is my nephew and he has quite the sense of humor and he considers himself um, a real outdoorsman. Watch this little scene right here of him. There was a black racer came across in front of us, so here we go. We have a snake now. We're coming up with all kinds of critters. Where'd he go? He went. He shot, shot back, back in, back in, in there. there. Black racer. He shot. Sorry, <laughs> folks. Uh, just getting back from a possible catastrophe, but we avoided it narrowly. <laughs> we had a black racer, extremely poisonous. Uh, I tried to grasp it by its neck. Was I able to? And he, he escaped back into the bush. He's lying. He knew he'd come up to. He's just scared. <laughs> I don't know which crazy nut. <laughs> One night, um, my daughter Lindsay and then my daughter Natalie, Lindsay's my middle daughter. Her and Natalie, they decided they was gonna play this uh, game. It's with jelly beans, it's a uh, bean boozle. And you can either get a good jelly bean or a bad jelly bean. They tried to talk me into playing, but uh, after seeing their reaction to it, uh, no way. So here's just a little clip of them playing that bean boozle. What is this game called? Bean boozled. Bean. I, get, I just got rotten eggs. Bean boozled. There you go. Bean All right, let's go. Somebody go. What color was it? What color was it? Green. Oh, it's booger. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Oh. <laughs> Warren, you better pray for it. You better pray for it. Oh, yes. God, let it out. <laughs> After those two reactions, uh, they didn't talk me into playing that game. No way. When we're on vacation and we're down in Florida, we always take the opportunity to go out fishing. Lee, Jackson, which is Jackson is Lee's son, and myself, we went and did some inshore fishing. And uh, we had a good time, caught a few fish, and here's a little bit of that. This is where Jackson and myself and Lee, we're gonna go off fishing right here today. While we were out there fishing, um, it was around two o'clock and we got ready to eat lunch. And so we went to this place called Cabbage Key and it's only accessible by boat. And it's uh, got this nice restaurant there. And so here we are gonna eat there. Now, anything Lee tells you, uh, we can't document it. Or we say he has a lot of useless information. So anything he says here, uh, take it with a grain of salt going to eat at a place called Cabbage Key, and Lee's going to tell us about it here. What would you tell us about this place? Well, the neatest thing about Cabbage Key is they're known for their cheeseburgers. It supposedly is the location in which Jimmy Buffett wrote the song Cheeseburger in Paradise. Obviously a wonderful cheeseburger in a paradise tropical-like setting. However, in recent years, they've had to remove everything that had to do with Jimmy Buffett from the location. They can't name anything. Uh, due to lawsuits pending from the Jimmy Buffett camp. I guess if he's not making anything off of it, they're not going to either. So, <laughs> we'll tell you more when we get a bite. It's estimated that there's about 80 some odd thousand dollars in $1 bills hanging 
all of the ceiling and on the walls in this place. <laughs> Now my wife, uh, Christy, has a architectural engineering degree. We're going back to Madeira Beach and to John's Pass just to spend the day. And going there, we have to drive over this bridge that my wife helped uh, draw. And so she's going to tell you a little bit about that right now. We're getting ready to go over the big Skyway Bridge. Christy has an architect degree. Western, Western Kentucky University. Here's the Skyway Bridge. And she lived down here when this was being built and she helped draw it and design it. So tell us about it, Christy. I lived in uh, the St. Pete area around Treasure Island and I worked in Tampa at a company called Parsons and Brigenhoff. And uh, they were engineer company, and we, I helped draw this bridge, and got to see it being built. And so every time I get to come across it or go over it, I kind of remember that, and that I kind of had a small, very small part in this. It is a cool bridge. You did a really good job, Christy. Hopefully, we make it across safely. <laughs> We are here. This St. John's Pass is just a, it is a neat, neat little place. Our last night there, we drove over to a place called uh, Captiva Island, and it's where this, uh, it's a real unique restaurant. It's called the Bubble Room. I walked around the Captiva Island in that area while we were waiting for our table. It was over an hour wait, uh, probably about, about an hour and a half wait. And so we just did a little walking around, around the community there. It's just, man, that Captiva, Island, Sanibel Island is just a beautiful, beautiful place. Really, really enjoyed it. So here's a little bit of, of that and this is our last night there. We're going to a bubble room. Captiva Sanibel Island, this is a beautiful, beautiful place. Thank you. 